welcome back everybody so in this video we'll talk about how we can generate a rag application using llama 3 as a supporting llm so in one of my previous videos i talked about and i'm also going to hook this video here so in this video we talked about how we can um, generate a rag application in just two minutes and this application would use python and fast api as the back end and Next.js as a front end by default it would use uh, OpenAI as for for the supporting LLMs and embeddings. So so this application was generated through this particular command npx create llama. So all you need to do is uh, just create this. Make sure you have Poetry installed, which is more like a dependency management package for Python. So these are the two prereqs. And once you actually go ahead with these commands. Uh, this is what you'll get. You'll get a nice uh, generated backend, which is a fast API and Next.js as the front end. And obviously, um, you can go through the README. Uh, it's quite useful in terms of the different aspects of uh, these two directories, and it's kind of easy for you to run by. So within the fast API, these are the two default endpoints that you would get. You would get a streaming endpoint, um, API chat, and then you'll get API slash chat slash request as a non-streaming endpoint. So, but we'll be using obviously the streaming endpoint with the front end because that's what comes to fall with the front end as well. So here, there are just a couple of steps for you to sort of uh, set up your backend, make sure you install Poetry, and then you need to generate uh, this particular command, which sort of uh, generates the embeddings for you. So here in the backend, within the data section, you would get a sample PDF. So uh, so this whole experience of uh, you know Next.js being the front end and enabling you to actually chat with your uh, documents. So this is the very first document that you would get by default. So when you actually run this step, it would create embeddings out of these documents and then you can ask questions uh, through the LLM and receive the answers. So uh, I've already generated uh, both the backend and the front end through the npx create llama command. Uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to talk about how we can sort of tweak this around and how we can sort of uh, uh, configure this particular application that we have here to sort of support Llama 3 instead of OpenAI, which sort of comes default with this whole, with this whole thing that is generated. So uh, before we step into... Uh, uh, the whole configuration thing, just make sure that you have uh, Olama installed and uh, we'll be needing the embedding models from Olama here. So Olama offers you like three embedding models, but if you're new to Olama, I would suggest that you actually go through this video, uh, which enables you to run Olama and Llama 3 locally on your machine uh, by using Olama itself. So Llama is a great tool, enables you to actually play around with the open source models. So you can customize your models as well. You can uh, use the existing models and it has a great community around it. So yeah, it's kind of cool. So for the embedding models, you have these three categories here. I'm going to use Nomic embed text because uh, it seems decent. And uh, we'll actually have to pull it. Uh, so all you have to do, you have to go here. So I've already pulled um, the largest model beforehand, but I think uh, this seems a bit decent in terms of uh, our requirement for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this as well. So I was gonna take Olama pull, now I'm making bad text. Yeah, and there we go. So uh, we have everything set up. We'll go to our VS code. Uh, now, before we begin, there are two files which are of the utmost importance in terms of setting your own con configurations is the very first one is the environmental variables and the second one is settings.py. 
So within the environment variables, we have um, Llama Cloud Key, which is for Llama Parse. Again, a utility offered by Llama Index to make your documents rag friendly. Then we have a model provider, which is by default OpenAI. And we have the model, which is by default GPT 3.5 Turbo. Embedding model, uh, I think there is a typo. I was playing around with the file before. Uh, we have embedding size, OpenAI key, uh, and the rest is standard stuff. Uh, app host, app port, you can change your port if you want to, but I like 8000. Then we have the top similar embeddings to return. So this is like a top case setting. Uh, it's fine, three is good. So let's go ahead and change this. Uh, for this particular task, I'm gonna use Olama. And for the model, I'm gonna use Llama3. And for the embedding model, I'm gonna use two, two, two. I'll make embed text by Perfect, so we're done with the environment uh, variables. Let's head into the settings. So here, if you can see, uh, we have initialized setting function. It sort of fetches the uh, model provider, which we just set to Olama. And it sort of checks here that if it's OpenAI, you just call it an OpenAI method. And if you have Olama, then you sort of uh, initialize the or call the init olama method so by default it was going here right here so i don't think we need this anymore but we're but we're going to keep the code right so within the init olama section we have two import statements which are like import olama and import olama embeddings so again uh, remember that we need the embeddings to actually embed uh, the default example pdf attached uh, with this whole example generated. So here uh, we're using the embedding model, which we have just uh, sort of uh, pulled here, nomic embed text. And uh, we're sort of uh, setting the embedding model to Olama embedding and the model we just pulled. And uh, for the LLM, we are using Llama3. So that's it. The, uh, these are the like uh, four, three lines that you would need to sort of reverse your uh, LLM settings from OpenAI to any open source uh, LLM, uh, which can be referenced through Olama. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and run this code. So for the backend, uh, to make sure you have to sort of uh, install poetry first. Then you start the shell command, and then uh, you need to do point three uh, run generate, and this will sort of generate all the embeddings for you. Make sure you run everything within the virtual environment because uh, this particular project would need to be run um, on Python versions which are lesser than three point twelve. So this particular one uses 3.11.7. All right, so we have our embeddings generated. Next, so all we need to do is Python. It's Python main.py. All right, so we have our fast API server running at localhost 8000. And yep, here we are uh, with our streaming and non-streaming endpoints. Perfect, let's go ahead and run the front end now. So for that, I would just go ahead and run npm dev. And there we go. We have our Next.js application running at localhost 3000. So localhost 3000. And there we go. Uh, let's check if everything is working. All right, so this is the response from Llama3 itself. So it says, hello, you didn't ask a specific question, so I'm assuming, all right. Still generating stuff. I'll wait. Awesome. So you'd like me to summarize the physical standard for the retail mail letters. So basically this PDF that is attached is more like physical standards for letters, cards, 
flats and partials. So that's everything it has summarized for us. So this is kind of nice. Almost you can generate all the models that are offered by Olama. Um, so yeah, let me know uh, what do you think about it. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.